Now, your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. Looking northwest over downtown, headed for a mostly clear to clear nine as you check out the Graber Post Building's weather cam. It'll be a little warm. That won't last long. Although well, the nighttime temps are going to be in the 60s for a while. Here's what we're tracking on the weather headlines. The 90s return. Rain by midweek, then cooler. Not a lot cooler, but a little cooler. Right now at the airport, 84. Dew points up there at 64. South, south, south wind at 14. That's the wind speed average. Pressure's falling from 29.98. 61 in Paris this morning. Terre Haute dropped to 59. Same at Bloomington, Washington. Vincennes at 61. High temps, we'll see if we're done. 88, the warm spot at Vincennes. 86 at the airport. 85 over at Effingham. And current temps right now north to south. Paris at 83. Uh, you go down to Marshall, 83, over to Casey, the same, and down to only 85. Uh, winds steady out of the southwest, 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts to 25. These are wind speed averages from the airports. So it'll be breezy during the overnight hours, something to stir up the atmosphere. It'll be a bit muggy. Uh, Metro view overdoing the clouds. We've got some cloudiness out there, but we also have plenty of breaks in those clouds. So I think mostly clear will look like a good bet for tonight. Still at midnight, it's in the 70s, so that muggier nighttime weather is back. Quiet weather day. A little rain out to the west. Boy, look at the east. Some rain in Florida. No tropical systems to worry about. You zoom in, take a closer look. Uh, just a few clouds here and there locally on satellite and radar. Really not a lot going on out there. And that will be reflected on future cast. I think we're going to see nothing but uh, mostly clear and mostly sunny days and nights for the time being. And as we get into the middle part of the week, Wednesday, maybe Tuesday night late, Wednesday on through Friday, That'll be the opportunity for scattered showers and occasionally some thunderstorms mixed in there as well. Short term, though, through Monday, we're going to be dry. Here's the next seven days. Now watch your clock up here in your day. As we get into Wednesday, that's when we start to see scattered showers and storms. They linger around on Thursday and again on Friday, and then everything pushes on out. So by the weekend, should be back to dry weather. So we'll take the scattered showers and storms a latter part of the week. We're on day 11 of the month. We've only had 56 hundredths of an inch of rain here at the studio, so it has been dry. Tips, they're going to warm up. Of course, that yellow, orange, red shading, that's the hotter weather. 90s for a few days, maybe through Tuesday for some. And then a little bit of a cool down as a cold front pushes through. That'll bring us the rain into Wednesday with a few thunderstorms. That could be the most active day for thunderstorm activity. And it kind of tapers off as we go into Thursday and Friday. Tonight. On the warm side, 69. The average low is 56, so well above normal. Mostly clear skies. Note the winds gusting to 25 from the southwest. Then tomorrow, another hot day. Hotter than what we had today. 92 for the high with a gust of 25 from the southwest. That southwest breeze pulling in plenty of warm air. And as we look ahead, well, we'll cool off finally when that front comes through on Wednesday. That'll bring us scattered showers and storms. And we're looking at, though, rain possibility, scattered variety, Thursday and Friday. But we dry off just in time for the weekend. The daytime temps cool a little bit, but still the nighttime lows a little bit on the muggy side. We'll take a break, and Omar is back with sports after that.